Good morning, good morning, good morning, and happy Saturday. You said Saturday. Oh my goodness. This is Walking 1K with Gigi. This is a Saturday edition. You know, if you've been following me, I walk Monday through Friday. But this is a special edition of Walking 1K with Gigi. I'm Gigi. I'm co-pastor Gail Gilmore from Grace and Twine Ministries in Portsmouth, Virginia. And this is in support of a special project that's going on at Grace and Twine Ministries, our Children Outreach Project. And I am excited to be walking with oh, our Minister of Music of Grace and Twine Ministries. Well, I've been knowing this guy all of his life, and he is James Gilmore Jr. I am so excited uh, to have you this morning. You know, Monday through Friday, I share a gem nugget. And our Minister of Music, James Gilmore Jr., he is going to share his gym nugget for this morning. Take it away, James. <laughs> Good morning, and uh, thank you, Mom, for this opportunity. Uh, walking with Gigi, walking 1K with Gigi. Um, I just really wanted to share a word because, uh, and I was thinking about one night, you know, I was sleeping and I was on my phone, and uh, you know, it was a great storm, a big storm. Uh, a few a few nights well night before last sure it was and uh you know i was on my phone playing my games <laughs> you know trying to go to sleep mm -hmm. and my wife woke up she was like oh does the, the, the storm feel like it's hitting the house <laughs> and stuff like that and uh and i just had a comment i had a piece about myself uh, as far as the, the storm and she said <laughs> she said why are you so calm you know during this storm and you know, I just said, you know, I had the assurance, I had the peace. Uh, you know, I feel God give us peace, you know, oh, yeah. throughout a storm. Mm -hmm. And um, we think of the story in Mark 4, where it was a great storm, mm -hmm. you know, that was on the ship. Mm -hmm. And, <laughs> and they, they didn't have a lot of faith. Uh, Jesus, you know, he said, why y'all have little faith, have no faith? Mm -hmm. And knowing that I am on the, on the ship. And I was thinking about, you know, finding peace during the storm mm. and so when we find peace during the storm we got to recognize first of all that we have to have faith in his presence oh yeah yeah um, we remember the story of the woman with the issue of blood mm -hmm. you know she had so much faith in god mm -hmm. and jesus always said because of your faith you are healed mm -hmm. and so we have to think about those things during the storm mm -hmm. Uh -huh. It's just not faith, but we have to have action in our faith because, like in James, the book of James, it says that, that um, we have to have action, you know, faith right. without works is dead. It's dead. And so we have to realize that we have to have faith. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And the second thing is having insurance in his presence. Oh, yeah. Insurance. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, we have a car insurance. <laughs> you know, we have a house insurance mm -hmm. that we got to pay every month. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, we have to have insurance mm -hmm. in his presence. Mm -hmm. you know, we can't just pay the insurance policy when something happens. Mm -hmm. we, have to, we have to pay it uh, beforehand before mm -hmm. the accident occurs. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. with Jesus, it's not just we don't pay Jesus. <laughs> right. You know, we have to have a relationship with him. Mm hmm in order us to have, us to have insurance or assurance mm -hmm. that we are covered. Oh, wow. Throughout the storm. Oh, I like that. Assurance and insurance. All right, all right. Oh, I like that. And you know what is funny? That you mentioned the storm um, the other night because uh, our grandson, he told us the next morning, he said, Grandma, it was really storming uh, last night and the lightning and he said, I think some, some lightning hit some trees in the backyard or something. And you know what? I said, really? Because I did not hear a thing. Because yeah. my husband says all the time they could blow up things. I wouldn't even hear it. Yeah. But it comes from what James just said, having assurance 
in God's presence. Yeah, like you said, the disciples, they were in the storm and uh, Jesus in the hind part, part of the ship, of the ship. <laughs> sleep. And he got up and, you know, he said, uh, you a little faith, you know, you should have had the assurance because I'm with you. But if you look, it, it seems like if, if you look back at the story, they did have some faith because they said, Jesus, why you didn't come? <laughs> well, we really needed you. Right, you know, I'm just right, right, right. But uh, in, the, in, the, in the third thing is having mm. uh, realizing the power in his presence. Okay. You know, uh, it reminds me of this sermon I heard on TV mm -hmm. uh, by Dr. Michael Moore. He was mm -hmm. talking about realizing the source of power. Mm. And we have to be plugged in in the right source. All right. In order to have peace during these storms. All right. Because sometimes we we deal with situations the wrong way. Mm -hmm. And we're not plugged in into the right source. All right. And so uh, that's, that's my last point. Okay. Uh, finding peace in the storm. Finding peace in the storm oh man that's a great one finding peace that's a great gem nugget and i really like that part where you have to have assurance and insurance you know that is really sticking and know who the power source is the power source is jesus christ you think about you know you're in the house mm -hmm. <laughs> and mm -hmm. you, know, you have house insurance and you know you, you have peace that you know something happens to your house mm -hmm. you're insured. yeah yeah and you know it, it it's like uh yeah when you're talking about the insurance you know i know we hate to pay insurance but it's good to have it in case something comes up and we you know it's good insurance when we have jesus and have christ in our lives because he's going to be there when we need him and of course we don't have to pay our policies for him but when we receive him we have that assurance and insurance that he'll be with us that was great james that was great i like that so i hope you got um something from that gym nugget i know i did uh you know because there's always something that we can share you know the word tells us that we are to go into all the world and teach all nations, baptizing in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And it doesn't mean that you have to be in the pulpit, you have to be a preacher or evangelist. All of us are called. James is called, I am called. All of you that are called. And that's why each morning, Monday through Friday, I like to share uh, words of inspiration and, and instruction and encouragement and uh, I believe James word was a, a word of um, encouragement that you have uh, Jesus even in the midst you can have Jesus in the midst of the storm his presence his presence even in the midst of the storm again very good very good very good nugget very good nugget and I want to thank you uh, for that um, I want to talk about uh, this uh, children's outreach project and this is how it's working um, up until June we're going to extend this until June you can go to graceentwineministries.com uh, make a donation of any amount that you would like to make and we would love for you to share your word, a word that, uh, a word from the Lord or something, a word that you have uh, lived by or one of your favorite Bible verses, or you can share a word of inspiration, or, and uh, you can send us some information about your business, about your organization, uh, about your church even, you know, if you want to rep your church, Go ahead and send that information, and I'm going to share it on Walking 1K with Gigi. Because I want to thank um, the following people who have supported this project. And I tell you, we are reaching the world. Our first person <laughs> that donated uh, and supported this project, and I hope I'm saying it right, 
It's Samara Welde from Bajor Stegen, Sweden. Wow, I mean, we reaching wow. everywhere, Sweden. I had to go to Alexa and ask how they pronounce Bajor Stegen, Sweden. Like that's, awesome. That's, that's, that, awesome. That, 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 that's awesome. I'm telling you, we are reaching the world. And you know, when I walk 1K with Gigi, I've gotten comments from people in Canada, in Sweden, um, South Africa, and a few other places. So we're reaching, I just love social media. We're just reaching the world. I'd like to thank Mr. Rudolph Lawrence from Norfolk, Virginia for supporting. I want to thank Mr. Walter Moody from Newport News, Virginia. Oh, he, he had a two word, um, be encouraged. That's all I got to say. He said, be encouraged. He said, he, I like to tell people that all the time. Be encouraged. Miss Jacqueline Jacobs from Portsmouth, Virginia. Oh, I love this one. Psalm 107.2. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Oh, that was a good one. And then Miss Kathy Worthen. She's a realtor. The Worthy Homes team, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. She reminds us who our boss is, who we work for. Colossians 3, 23, 24. And whatsoever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men, knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ. Oh, we got to remember who our boss is. And she shared that with us and so i want you go ahead graceentwineministries.com um you can share like i said uh, your favorite bible verse maybe you just want to make the donation i'll just thank you <laughs> on walking 1k with gg but again if you want to send your favorite bible verse if you want to send your favorite word or inspiration because it can inspire somebody else or you want to rep your business like Miss Worthen, because she's a top selling realtor in our area. Uh, you want to rep your business. You want to rep your church. Let us know about your church. And you want to rep your church or your organization. We would appreciate that. Again, that's graceentwineministries.com. And you'll see all the information about this project. All right, I want to end this right here. <laughs> I told y'all James, he is our minister of music. I know I'm being a little partial, but I think he's the best minister of music in the land. You know, we were blessed when we went into Grace and Twine Ministry. He was playing for some other churches, you know, because he's good. But he told me, he said, I'm going to be playing for my daddy's church. But he has been our minister of music, and uh, he is fantastic. He is a music producer. I know he has some projects going on. He has some YouTube channels. James, if you want to share any of that about your YouTube channels or, or your projects, go ahead and do that. Yeah, and I, I thank God for you know the amazing gift of music and um, you know spreading it not only in this country, United States, but throughout the world. Uh, I, I create jingles. Um, Currently working on projects with gospel artists. Uh, check out her project soon. Sierra Parker mm -hmm. working on her project. But uh, you know, thank God for still keeping me going. You know, having these awesome opportunities come up uh, as far as jingle. I tell you. And you can also check out my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. uh, music tips and reviews with JG. Uh, awesome reviews and music tips mm -hmm. uh, that you know producers, songwriters can you know carry with them. Mm -hmm. That's a great uh, YouTube station. All of you, he deals with all the genres of music. I, I enjoyed your review on Beyonce's latest album. That was good. What's the name of the album again? Cowboy Carter. Cowboy Carter. Yeah, that was good. Uh, and he does reviews for, I mean, everything, all genres of music. Because we, we, like me and him, we're music lovers, you know. Also, and uh, um, Go ahead. Uh, my website, uh, www yourboyjg.com Okay, uh, repeat that one more time. Uh, www.yourboyjg.com And I want to tell y'all, if y'all need a jingle <laughs> for your church, 
for your business, for your organization, go to that website that he just said, you want to go back. The boy is fantastic. Like we're reaching the world with this. He has written <laughs> jingles literally for people around the world. I went to his company's website. He's the top jingle writer for churches. And I said, wow. If you could estimate about how many would you say jingles you have written? <laughs> if you could estimate. Maybe close to 300. Yeah. I, I knew it was a few yeah. hundred <laughs> jingles because <laughs> when I went to that website and I was looking at his, um, you know, the reviews and things like that, I mean, they had all these different flags from all these different uh, countries. But, you know, it started when we went into Grace and Twilight Ministry and, and my husband, Daddy, he said, I, I like James the writer, Jingle for the church. And he did the first one. If you go Sundays and hear our Sunday worship services on the Jim Nugget channel, you'll um, hear real love, real love at the gym. How it starts out. There's a place to go where you can go with friends and family. Learn about to live abundantly. I would rather be by peace, love, and happiness so I can be find real love, real love, real love at the gym. All right, see, I told him, I said, we gonna do that because we be forgetting some of the words, so together we'll, we'll try to get some of these words together. And then, if you tune in Tuesday night for Church School Live, I said, I need a jingle for my, um, weekly sharing of my um, sun, uh, Sunday school lesson and I like that the first two words is like it inspires me to go he says Gail go into all the world to the streets to the odd well and do what Lord teach <laughs> and, I, uh, and every week the word, I know the words. Is the Welcome to Church School Live. Welcome to Church School Live. All right. That was good, too, because by the time that goes off, I'm ready to teach. <laughs> but uh, And he writes such, um, you know, catchy, catchy tunes that kind of stay in your head. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? All right. Um, and then Thursday. I got jealous when you wrote this one for daddy because this was a good one for life study. Spreading God's word around the world, around the world. The James Gilmore. Da, 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 da. But the answer, mm -hmm, I know all these words. Get understanding. Just in God. Mm, in your life. <laughs> Welcome to. Oh, 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 oh. Life study, life study. Oh, 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 oh. Life study. We be jamming to that, Jay. Oh, 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 oh. Life study. Yeah. And the things of thing about James, you give him your ideas and your thoughts, and he just puts the music together. He puts the lyrics together and everything. I say, you know, we having trouble this morning because we're trying to remember all these words. And then the last one, on Saturdays, I have How Would Jesus Invest? Because I talk about that taboo subject that they don't want to talk about in church. Uh, I'm not doing it today. You're going to see the special edition of uh, Walking 1K. But on Saturday, he did this one. It seems like money is a taboo subject that they talk about in the church. We use money every day. <laughs> Open your, it, it, it's just great. So, you know what? I would just tune in to all of this so you could hear his jingles. But he is fantastic. But um, you are blessed. You are blessed. And this, uh, 
Our children are awesome. This is our youngest. This is James Jr. I'll give a shout out to Candy Charette. She's our oldest. Cause my husband said before he had before we had children, he said, if I have a girl, I'm gonna name her Candy because she's the sweetest, she's gonna be the sweetest girl I know. And thus Candy. So give a shout out to Candy. But we are blessed. We just thank God. For both of them they have special gifts that's unique and uh, we thank God but I thank God for you James thank you thank again you yeah thank you again for joining me for this special edition of walking 1k with Gigi now next month May 18th I'm gonna be walking with Lynette Gilmore Nat Gilmore, does that name sound familiar? Well, that's James' wife, our daughter in love. She is head of our audiovisual ministry at Grace and Twine Ministry. She's also an herbalist, everything that has to do with healthy eating and healthy. She is going to be walking with me on May the 18th, and she's going to have a gym nugget. I can't wait for that. Lynette Gilmore has literally put Grace and Twine Ministry on the map through social media. So she's going to be joining me, walking with me. And then June 8th, the big daddy of them all, founding pastor of Grace and Twine Ministries, James Gilmore Sr. So I'm excited. So in the meantime, come on now, go to graceandtwineministry.com, support this children's outreach um, project by donating any amount, any amount. If you want to, share your favorite Bible verse, share your favorite word of inspiration, share your information so I can put it out about your business, so I can put it out about your church, or put it out about your organization, and you still will be helping our outreach ministry. Thank you. Go also ahead. I can, also, I can send the links uh, to you. Okay. Video, okay. So you okay. Great. 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 Well, you enjoy the rest of your day. They say it's going to get up into the high, into the seventies, and next week here in the seven five seven, it's going to be in the eighties. Now I don't think it's going to be quite, you know, shorts and tank tops, but it's going to be. We're getting ready to go into some nice weather. Well, you be blessed. And enjoy the rest of your weekend. And let me remind you, if you live in the Tidewater area, come and join us at Grace and Twine Ministries every Sunday. Every Sunday. Because like the jingle says, you'll find real love at the gym. We're located at 3923 Deep Creek Boulevard in the city of Portsmouth, Virginia. Hope to see you there. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.